Hello, I'm Tim Waite. I manage sterile processing and materials. And in honor of Sterile Processing Week, I would like to introduce you to the sterile processing department and our materials department as well. It's here where our instruments are cleaned, inspected, assembled, and sterilized and prepared for surgery. Not too many people are familiar with this department, so I'd like everyone to have a chance to have a look and see what's going on inside. Each day, hundreds of instruments are processed, and the sterile processing techs are specially trained on the multitude of ways to clean them. It is up to them to ensure that each instrument used is safe for the next patient. At HOI, instruments are returned to the decontamination room after surgery, and the instrumentation reprocessing begins. This process starts by soaking and manually cleaning each instrument soaked in a water and detergent mixture. This helps to break down the blood and the material left on the instruments post-surgery, also known as bioburden. A variety of different brushes and irrigators are used to remove any remaining or difficult to remove bioburden from the instruments. Once all the bioburden has been removed, the instruments are rinsed and moved on to the next step of the process, the ultrasonic cleaning. It is in this process that the remaining biofilm that cannot be seen by the human eye is removed. An ultrasonic cleaner works by sending ultrasonic waves through the water. These waves create tiny unstable bubbles that when in contact with the instruments implode and remove the residual biofilm. Once all the biofilm has been removed, the instruments are washed and prepared for the final step of the decontamination process called mechanical cleaning. Mechanical cleaning is similar to a high-powered dishwasher. This step is implemented to remove anything that may be left on the instruments. The washer has spray arms that use detergents and high-pressured spraying water to clean the instruments. Each cycle includes a thermal disinfection so that the instruments are safe to handle. From here, the instruments are inspected and assembled in preparation for sterilization. During the assembly process, instruments are inspected to be sure that they are functioning correctly and then assembled into their appropriate sets made for different surgical procedures. Each set has commonly used instruments and instruments that are unique to the surgical procedure. In order to guarantee proper assembly, each sterile processing tech is responsible for learning each instrument and how it works. This provides the surgical team with everything they need to provide safe, quality care to our patients. From here, the instruments are prepared for sterilization by being placed into a metal mesh basket. The basket is then placed into a specialized container designed for sterilization. Some containers have a sealed, hard outer shell, and some must be wrapped with a specialized material called a blue wrap. Both containers are designed to allow the instruments to be sterilized and then remain sterile while being stored. Sterilization is done by using different methods such as steam, vaporized, hydrogen peroxide, and a variation of different methods. Most commonly used instruments are sterilized using the steam method. In order to make sure the sterilization process has been effective, chemical and biological indicators are used. Chemical indicators are placed on the outside of the blue wrap and the rigid containers that can let staff know at a glance whether the instruments have been sterilized or not. Indicators are also placed inside the instrument sets so that the surgical staff know the instruments were sterilized and are safe to use on our patients. Once the instrument sets have been sterilized, they are transferred over to the sterile core where they stay until it is needed for the next surgical procedure. This area is also the staging area for the next day's surgical procedure and any potential emergency surgeries. Finally, once the instruments are ready, they are assembled onto a case car along with the soft goods needed to perform the next surgery. Thank you for taking the tour of our sterile processing department. It is our pleasure to serve you and our community and our patients. Please recognize our sterile processing staff for their excellent service and patient care and high quality standards.